Hey everyone, Mark here from Pine Tech. Today we're going to get a couple of my compact holsters for the Sig P365X Macro. Uh, this is my mold gun here, so let's take a look. All right, starting off with my basic compact. So this is just a regular compact holster, 10 degree cant, no bells or whistles, but as is, it's just this is going to be one of the most minimalistic versions you can get. And this is my entry into compact holster, which is perfectly sufficient. Um, so a couple key features here. You've got a one and a half inch mold injected belt clip, rubber washers in there to help alleviate the tension of taking the sand in and out, in and off. Uh, you can see here you got a nice positive pressure against the Kydex so your belt's not going to slip on through there. Finish washers all the way around, black hardware, just completely all blacked out holster. It looks very sharp. Uh, down here you have a couple of retention screws to adjust the retention so you can get that nice positive kydex snap and then adjust it to your liking so you can have it just drop right in or tighten it up to have a nice nice snug um, firm pull to get the draw out. Um, other than that, i give a real quick close up here of the holster and how it sits in the gun. Underneath the trigger guard there, you've got the trigger guard completely covered, but then it's also nice and flush there at the end so you don't get any unnecessary rubbing on your finger when you're doing some uh, practice draws, go to the range. Uh, up along the back of the slide, and then down the sight channel there. It's going to be tall enough to put any aftermarket sights on it. Uh, so that's basically, you know, as you order the compact, that's... The basic model um, works very sufficient. Now, if you put an RMR on your X Macro, I've got a uh, more of a RMR version here. And then also the claw. Claws are very popular. And this is a gun that I do like a claw. I like claws for anything that's uh, about mid size, a little bit larger. You know, so you start running to three and a half inch to four inch barrels and up. Uh, double stack magazines. That's where the claw really shines because as this um, extra weight here of extra rounds with the double stacks wants to tip out on you, this this catches your belt and prevents it from tipping out. So the claw, especially in this this format, you know, with a RMR, it's going to be really good to wear it appendix style. But you can also wear this wherever you want. This one in particular is set up for a nice straight cant with a claw. This is going to work fantastic in an append appendix position. It'll work really well in your hip too. Uh, it's got an RMR relief cut in it, so as you can see here, um, the mounting plate for your RMR, you've got clearance there, so you're going to be able to mount your RMR and not affect your draw. Uh, one thing I tried doing that I think is really important, especially with RMRs, and one reason I really like the straight draw with an RMR, is that you want to, if all possible, keep in, it's very dependent on the gun, uh, but the Sig Macro is a good example of this. Um, you know, you got your belt line right here. So let's grab a little tool here. Let's say your belt's coming on through here. You've got the belt line of the holster is just below where the RMR is going to be. And that will keep your RMR from snagging when you draw and holster your uh, firearm. Uh, if you get this too far tilted inside the waistband, and then your belt's coming straight across where the RMR is, you can get some catching with the RMR where it's, you know, some possible snagging issues. So again, whatever setup you decide to go with, uh, just make sure that you do practice and, and um, you know, practice so you don't get any snagging and you get some nice smooth draws. So again, uh, this one right here, you got the optional claw on it. And then you got a monoblock clip. The monoblock clip is just, um, it's a metal version. It's its split in the middle. So you got kind of, you know, help two two points to help grab onto the belt. And then it's got a nice, nice solid bite to it. The plastic one has a very good bite too. And these are very durable as well. So if you prefer a metal one, a little more bite, that's the monoblock clip. Other than that, the features of the... Uh, the gun and this is removable so if you want to order it and try it and then decide you don't like it it's also removable and there'll be different size screws in the package to to change that out but same thing two retention retention points there so you can adjust the retention of the draw get that nice positive kydex snap 
there we go. That's my compact for the SIG 365X Macro. Uh, give me a like and subscribe if you don't mind. That would be awesome. See you guys.